running away from your problems is a race you will never win with this most beautiful thought for the day this is miss anupama welcoming you all on miss anupama's channel so my dear friends and students welcome back to my channel and today in this session i am going to take up a new uh, exercise of chapter 3 that is addition subject max which is on page number 20 so in my previous video i told you that i am going to come up with an exercise okay so in the last video we have learned that how to add three digit number carrying over that was an introduction part of the uh, topic now today we are going to solve the exercise of this topic that is addition of four digit number carrying over okay chalo then quickly we'll begin our session so as you can see on the board my dear friends and students subject max addition of four digit numbers and this is of chapter 3 that unit 3 that is addition which is on page number 20 and exercise we are going to solve so add the given numbers so here total six sums are there in this exercise so the first sum which is given to us is four digit number to four digit number so add four digit number to the given four digit number so first we'll read the first step is you have to read the given number so here 5642 plus you have to add 4179 so the first step is over reading the given number now the second uh, second step second rule is that you have to write down the place values okay place value so it is four digit number means it is units tens hundreds and thousands thousands is four digit number so we'll start from our uh, right hand side so this is units place tens place hundreds and thousands so then write down the given first number from the right hand side so units place what is the number given to us it is 2 then tens place is it is 4 then hundreds place it is 6 and thousands place it is 5 and the second number which is given to us is also four digit number that is 4179 so start adding this uh, writing this number also from the units place okay so one below the other respectively in a proper order you have to write down the numbers you have to put the numbers in the sequentially okay that is units place that is 9 given to us tens place 7 then hundreds place 1 and thousands place okay so this is the third step now the fourth step you have to put the plus sign okay this is the plus sign this means addition you have to add the given two digit number so shall we start adding this number yes first start adding units to units tens to tens hundreds to hundreds thousands to thousands okay so 2 plus 9 okay how much it is how many okay it is how many 2 plus 9 is 11 so 11 we write in this way okay in the sense we write okay so this one should be unit place value this will be in the tens place value so one in the units place value you have to put it down the number which is in the tens place value you have to give carry over to the next number okay so you have to give this one here as a carrying over to the next number got it why we are giving one as a carrying over because 11 is a two digit number okay the numbers which are between 1 to 9 the number the digits which comes under 1 to 9 that number only will be given as an units place value it will not have any uh, what do you call carrying over okay but the uh, after adding the numbers Uh, the number which you get that is after nine, that is ten, eleven, twelve. Then, what you have to do, you have to write the units place down, and the next number you have to give carry over to the next number. Okay, that is a, a like tens, hundreds, and thousands, whatever the number you get. Okay, after adding. So here, now we'll start adding first carrying over. That is one plus four is five. Okay, then five plus seven is. 12 okay understood 5 plus 7 is 12 so you write 12 in this way so 2 is in 2 is in units place value 
2 is in units place value. So this 2 will be in this tens place and this tens place value that is 1 you have to give carry over to the next place value that is 100. So it is 12. Okay. So 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. So here you didn't get any two digit number here only 8. So there is no need of giving 1 as a carrying over. Okay. So hundreds place value what are the numbers given to us? Digits given to us it is 5 plus 4 is 9. Yes. So after adding 5642 to 4179 you get we get that 9829 21 as a sum. Okay what it is? 9821 is the sum. It's the total of this two numbers. Okay. Given numbers. Got it? Yes. Shall we begin with the second sum in the same way? So here the second sum is given as four digit to three digit number. Four digit number that is 4984. So we'll write, start writing the first place values. You need tens, hundreds and thousand. And then start writing the numbers. Units place you get 4, tens place 8, then hundreds place 9, thousands place 4. And then the th uh, three digit number. Okay. Now here I wanted to tell you one thing. When you are writing the given digits from your right hand side that is units, tens, hundreds and thousands. This is the correct method. Sometimes if you write the numbers from your left hand side. Okay, if the numbers are given four digit number, you will write down in thousands place. But like here, likewise here three digit number is given. 775. Now, sometimes children, what they do? They start writing three digit number from the fourth uh, digit. Okay, thousands place value. That is seven, seven and five. So, do you think it is correct? This method is right. Not at all. This is a wrong way of putting the numbers in the place values. See this. This is a three digit number. Means it is hundreds. Okay. So, we will get units, tens and hundreds. But sometimes children, they do get intent to write like this. Okay. This is a wrong method. So, what you have to do is start writing from the units place only. It is always preferable. It is always right to write down the uh, you, uh, digits from the right hand side that is now in units place we get 5 tens place it is 7 and hundreds place it is 7 and then the next step is you have to put the addition sign that is plus so start adding the numbers okay so 4 plus 5 is how much it is 9 <coughs> okay so 8 plus 7 units place you got 9 so, tens place it is 8 and 7. So, it is 15. Okay. So, 15 you write in this way. So, this is units and tens. So, this units place value digit you have to write in the tens place and the one which is in the tens place value you have to give it carry over to the hundreds place value. Okay. Got it. So, now add the hundreds place value. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. So, 17 you write like this. So, units and tens, two digit numbers you got. So, 7 will be in the units place value and 1 you have to carry over. Okay. 1 you have to give carry over to the thousands place. So, 1 plus 4 is 5. Okay. Here this is 4 digit number and this is 5 digit, uh, 3 digit number. Okay. Sorry for that. This is 4 digit and this is 3 digit number. So, 1 plus 4 is 5. So, 4,984 added to 775, you get the total, the sum is what? 5,759, got it? Sum are the total, total of these two numbers. Sum cha bacho, chalo, we'll begin with the third sum. Guys, shall we begin with the third sum? Okay, now you can see here third number. Now here four digit number and the number which is given to us is a two digit number. 
so four digit number that is 7850 okay it is 7850 we'll first write down the place values you can see i have already written the place values naming of the place values is done units tens hundreds and thousands now you have to put the uh, numbers okay digits in the place values to the respective place values so zero is in the units place five is in the tens place then eight is in the hundreds place and seven is in the thousands place now here you can see it is two digit number so i told you in the previous uh, sum also that always start from your right hand side so you will not make any mistakes errors okay so nine is in the units place okay and two is in the tens place now then the next rule the next step is you have to put the plus sign and start adding the digits so in the units place 0 plus 9 is 9 then 5 plus 2 is 7 here no value is given okay for the second uh, number that is hundreds place only 8 is there so bring 8 down and thousands place also only one number one digit is given that is 7 so thousands place is 7 so it is 7879 okay after adding these two numbers given two numbers we get the sum this is the total sum or you can say total of these two numbers got it yes okay understood simple sum it is okay now we'll begin with the fourth sum you can see my dear friends and students here three numbers okay separate three numbers are given with the different place values okay now here this is a uh, four digit number three digit number and two digit numbers little complicated no? don't take tension don't be get worried about it so we'll begin this okay with the simple steps so first the four digit number what you have to do first you have to write down uh, naming the place value so units tens hundreds and thousands you finish now write put the numbers in the place values that is start from your right hand side that is units place we have nine tens place we got eight then hundreds place we got six and thousands place there is a five okay so we have what we have did we just wrote the four digit number in the respectively place values now the next number which is given to us is 135 okay 135 now this you start from writing putting the number digits in the place values from your right hand side so you need place we get five then tens place three hundreds place one this is also finished now the next number which is given to us is a two digit number that is 87 so 87 so in units place what we have seven and the tens place we got eight the next the next step is you have to put the plus sign and the next step you have to add the given digit so shall we begin with the units place okay here three digits are there in the units place so nine plus five is 14 then 14 plus 7 how much 14 plus 7 is 21 okay so you write 21 in this way okay understood so my dear friends and students if you are getting the confusion if you are not able to add the given numbers you can use the various methods of adding the given numbers okay like dot methods you can use okay uh, then lines methods okay first draw nine lines and then five lines and seven lines and add together all the lines and you'll get the addition of that three numbers otherwise on the fingers also you can add okay you can choose your own method whichever is you feel comfortable with it okay so nine plus five is 14 okay then 14 plus Seven. how much is 21 so 21 will write in this space so this one which is in the units place you have to put it down the number which is in the tens place this you have to give carry over to the tens place value that is 2 understood got it now 2 is the carrying over to the next place value that is tens so now here in the tens place value we got 4 digits okay that is 2 
8, 3 and 8. So all together these 4 digits you have to add. So first we will add 2 plus 8 is 10. Isn't it? So 8 plus 3 is how many? Uh, 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. Okay. So 13 plus 8 again is 21. Okay. Understood? So here 1 is in the units place. Then 2 is in the tens place. So units place value you have to put it down. And these two again you have to give carry over here. Okay. Here as a carrying over. So now uh, tens place value we added all these four digits. Now the hundreds place value. So here 2 is a carrying over. So first add 2 plus 6 is 8. Okay. 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 plus 9, 8 plus 1 is 9. And the hundreds place value which you are getting here, here you don't get any, any uh, carrying over sum. Okay, here you are not getting, uh, got any carrying over sum. So thousands place value is 5. So here no other number is given. Okay, here this is 3 digit number, this is 2 digit number. So straight away bring this 5 down. So, 5689 plus 135 plus 87 this is the sum this is the sum or total of this three given numbers that is 5911 okay got it my dear friends and students understood friends, now we'll solve the fourth fifth sum of this exercise now here as you can see the number which is given to us is a one digit number, four digit number and three digit number. So now first thing we have to write down the or we have to name the place values that is units, tens, hundreds and thousands. Now here also three numbers are given to us. Okay. Now seven is in the units place. Okay. Because it is only one number. One digit is given to you. That is seven. So seven is in the units place. And the next is four digit number that is 4895. As you can see here, it is 4895. So start writing from your right hand side. So units place, the number which you get is five. Five is in the units place, nine is in the tens place, then eight is in the hundreds place value, and four is in the thousands place. Now the third number which is given to use a uh, three digit number okay the number which is given to you is a three digit number so three digit number means hundreds okay so start writing from the units place that is uh, in the units place you got seven tens place you got three and hundreds place it is one so we already have written the uh, digits in their respective place values okay respective place values one below the other okay properly now the plus sign now start adding the numbers given number so units we got three digits so seven plus five how much 12 okay so seven plus five is 12 12 plus seven 12 plus seven is 19 okay Got it? 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 7 is 19. Okay? So 9 is in the units place. 1 is in the tens place. So 9 you write down here in the units place. 10 you have to, tens place value that is 1 you have to give carry over. So this is the tens place value. Here we got carrying over. So 1 plus, 1 plus 9 is how many? 10. 10 plus 1 is 10 plus 3, 10 plus 3, 1 plus 9 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. So this is units and tens. So this 3 will be in the units place. This one you have to give carry over to the next place value that is hundreds. Okay. So hundreds also got a play, uh, carrying over number. Okay. So here 1 plus 8. Here no uh, digit is given. Okay. No value is given to us. So 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. So we write 10 in this way. So 0 is in the units place that is hundreds place and 1 should be given as a 
carrying over to the thousands place value. So here thousands place value we got one carrying over. So 1 plus 4 is 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. Okay. So the answer which we got here, the sum which we got here after adding 7 to 4895 plus 137 we got the sum the total that is 5039 so this is called the sum and the total okay got it understood yes now the last sum of this exercise that is the sixth sum here you can see my dear friends and students here also three numbers are given. You have to add all these three numbers together. So here the first number which is given to us is a three digit number and the next number is a four digit number and the last number which is given to us is a two digit number. So first what you have to do, you have to name the place values. Okay. So you need tens, hundreds and thousands. Okay. Huh? Then start putting the uh, numbers in the place values. So 9 is in the units place, 3 is in the tens place and 2 is in the hundreds place value. The next will be the uh, 5310 that is 0 is in the units place, 1 is in the tens place, 3 is in the hundreds place value and 5 is in the thousands place. The next third number given to us is a two digit number that is 30. So 0 you have to put it in the z uh, units place value, 3 in the tens place value and the next one is a plus so start adding these numbers so 9 plus 0 plus 0 is 9 okay so 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 3 7 okay 4 plus 3 is 7 2 plus 3 is 5 and here okay here only three digit and here two digit number so bring this 5 down so this is the total, this is the sum of this three numbers after adding. That is 239 plus 5310 plus 30. We got the sum, the total that is 5579. Okay, understood my dear friends and students. Please note down the sums in your notebook and please practice it and uh, solve the sums on your own also okay and uh, please do like share comment and um, hit the uh, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my latest videos and be touch with me okay and uh, keep smiling and keep solving the sums and be always happy okay bye bye